There are two birds in the world known as goldeneye, common goldeneye and barrow's goldeneye. Both these birds are ducks, but there are quite a few differences between the two. The most obvious difference between common and barrow's goldeneye is visual. The two species are easiest to tell apart by looking at the adult males when they have their breeding plumage. Barrow's goldeneye has distinct white spots on its side, whereas common goldeneye has indistinct white segments merging into the white of the body. The white spot on the head of the barrow's goldeneye is very distinctly tear-shaped, whereas the spot of the common goldeneye is much more round. The two breeding males are also easy to distinguish in flight. When the wing of the common goldeneye is in the down position, a solid white square is easily visible. However, in Barrow's goldeneye, the white square has a black stripe in it. What about the female goldeneyes? The main difference between common and Barrow's goldeneye females is that the female common goldeneye has a distinct yellow-tipped bill, whereas the breeding Barrow's goldeneye female has more diffuse yellow all over the bill. Common goldeneye, as its name suggests, is more common. It can be seen in Europe, Asia, and North America. Barrow's goldeneye is mostly restricted to North America and Iceland. In fact, the Latin name of Barrow's goldeneye is Bucephala Icelandica. But why is common goldeneye more common? In one study, Barrow's goldeneye was found in denser groups of its own species and in fewer areas compared to common goldeneye, which means the Barrow's goldeneye might have more stringent habitat requirements. In addition, Barrow's goldeneye seems to prefer saline ponds over freshwater ponds, and it may be that the configuration of salt and freshwater bodies of water and their interaction is also important for Barrow's goldeneye. Because Barrow's goldeneye is found in fewer habitats, this species is more vulnerable as it depends on less common habitat configurations. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the two species of goldeneyes, and I hope to see you again next time.